Hi guys, we are here in London at the Computing Conference 2018 and I'm joined by Dr. Hussein Bonakdari. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. How are you feeling so far? Uh, London is a very beautiful city and uh, the conference is very good and nice. gives us good possibility to exchange our new idea in computing uh, techniques. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, we're in London now, but where are you from originally? Uh, I'm Iranian and right now I'm, uh, I have a collaboration with uh, Water Resource Engineering Department in Guelph University. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, now you have tried to make the crossover between civil engineering and yeah. computing science. Exactly. What can you tell me about that? You know, uh, right now we need uh, computing technique application to solve engineering problem, hmm. and more specific in water resource engineering and yeah. uh, as I'm working on it. Because th that's a really hot topic at the moment. Mm. Water is getting scarce. Exactly. You know, uh, really with effect of global warming and uh, heat of uh, world, and we need to change uh, our approach to, yeah. to solve the problems. And because even now in London, it's really dry for the past couple yeah. of weeks. So w w what are you working on at the moment? Uh, you know, mm, I try to apply the different computing techniques mm -hmm. to solve uh, our problems in water engineering. For example, uh, we have different approaches and we have different problems in mm -hmm. water engineering. Can you uh, name some of them? Yeah. You know, recently we used uh, satellite and remote sensing data okay. for predicting uh, discharge in rivers and the level of water in mm -hmm. lakes. And we, we have different process to, to have the good prediction. Right. For example, the first one is pre-processing and in one of my study we have tried to detect and uh, remove out of range data from the satellite data. Okay. This is very yeah. important for next uh, pro uh, pr uh, processing of data. Okay and, and what can you do with that? If you manage to find that data, what happens next? You know we need the good data to have good prediction from future. Yes, I can uh, imagine. Yeah. As we talk about uh, with climate change, we should mm. have a good idea about future. Right. And our approach give us good view from future. And, and what do you think will, will happen in the future? Not only in the environment, because we can predict quite nicely, we have some ideas in that, but in your field of work, wh where is it going? Uh, you know, uh, if we want to talk about computing techniques, mm -hmm. And I think in these years, the computing te technique enter in our life. Okay. Uh, for yeah. any scientist needs to know and to recognize different capacity of computing technique. On so research. you're saying that computing science will be uh, part of every field of I science? I think yes. Okay. Recently, you know, uh, I, I, I know the medicine scientists mm -hmm. use neural network computing yeah. to predict heart attack. Uh -huh. It's really new yeah. and something like that. That means uh, computing technique, it's not only for IT. Right. It goes... We need it exactly. everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. And in your own field of work, um, now you're, you're starting to research the data and then you're collaborating with satellites to, to see if you can improve it. Um, what are your aims or your goals for the next years? I know maybe we want to combine uh, computing technique and non-linear method with linear method mm -hmm. to benefit from advantage of both methods right. you know for good to have good prediction you know which means hybrid methods and we have some neo optimization model like uh, particle swarm optimization and so on to improve our prediction res result that would be great and will it be mainly used by go uh, governments or by organizations what do you think you know uh, f for everyone you know and uh, you know, when we talk about modeling, modeling means anything for any application, mm -hmm. and especially in time series prediction, for example, in bores, in everything, we have uh, different variable with variation with times, and we can predict future. Mm -hmm. And that means real world. Exactly. So that's when it reaches us in our daily lives. Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. Good luck Thank on your you. research. Thank you. If you want to watch any more videos, feel free to click on them. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.